I got my yard set up. Shooting them a little bit past 50 yards and steel targets. Uh, my uh, tactical machining, my own custom AR on the high assemble. Let's see what we can do here. About to shoot a AR-15 with some customization, it's Murphy's rifle. Got an ACOG, real nice setup. He shoot all the stuff he puts on here. Good lord. But uh, Knights Armament front, uh, handguard, quad rail. Jeez, more bells and whistles I can tell you. But something down the road I would look forward to getting my hands on. Let's see how she shoots with the ACOG. It is a bad, bad boy. Well, not the best shot in the world, folks, but this thing is hitting even the small stand that we have out there. We are nailing it with 100 yards. That's not bad, man. It is awesome. It's a heavy rifle after a while to hold. Alright, so here are Murphy's muskets. Got my son. 
This is muskets this year as well. And just doing some uh, rifle shooting at 100 yards. So, got to shoot Murphy's rifle here. It's pretty neat. Murphy, can you break it down? You were telling me about this rifle. What you got here? Uh, we got the TA31 RCO ACOG, the Knight's Armament rail, and uh, it's pretty much as far as like outward modifications, that's pretty much it. I mean, we got the Troy sight, the uh, what is that? Impact Weapons makes those for Travis Haley. That's just a standard surefire light mount. So other than that, it's pretty plain. I wanted to keep it as close to the what the Marines use as possible, kind of a clone. Uh, the only thing that's a departure is the light and the light mount. So cool. other than that, it's pretty much stock. Awesome. What uh, what lower are you rocking on it? Uh, it's an Alamo Tactical lower. Cool.